Hello, teacher engineers. This is our last example for beam deflection by double integration method. Compute deflection at B. Slope just to the left. Slope just to the right. And the deflection at D by the double integration method. Moment of inertia of portion A, B, C, D is I while for DEF, it is 2i. E is constant. So first, take note that the beam is determinate and stable. So we have two support reactions here. 2 plus 1, 5 plus 2, 7 plus 1, 8 plus 1, 9. And there are three parts or three free body diagrams. Therefore, 9 is equal to... 3 times n and it's and in each free body diagram we have three equilibrium equations so first let's consider a b because the load is at the center therefore its vertical reaction is that a and b will be half of 30 so 15 kilonewtons as, as shown in the figure so by action reaction we transmit 15 kilonewtons to the right to b downward then next, we consider BCD to solve for the reaction at C. Let's assume that the reaction at C is upward. So summation moment about D equals 0 or MD equals 0, considering BCD. So clockwise positive. So we have R sub C times 4 plus 90. Then minus 15 times 7. And minus 20 times 3, 1.5 plus 4 is 5.5. The moment arm is 5.5. So minus 20 times 3 times 5.5. So that's it. Solving for R sub C. R sub C is 86.25 kilonewtons as shown in the figure. Then for the reaction at D, just sum up for SY for portion BCD equals 0. So negative 15 minus 20 times 3 plus 86.25. Assuming vertical reaction at D is upward, so plus D sub V. Solving for D sub V. D sub V is equal to negative 11.25 kN. Since it is negative, therefore it should be downward. So downward at the left upward at the right of D. So, finally, for portion DEF, we assume reaction at D as upward summation moment at F equals 0, clockwise positive, so R sub E times 6 plus 11.25 times 11, then minus 15 times 11, moment arm is 5.5 from F, half of 11. So minus 15 times 11 times 5.5. Solving for R sub E, R sub E is 130.625 kilonewtons. So that's it. Then finally, for R, RF, it is not important anymore in our solution. But if you want to check, it is 23.125 kilonewtons. You may sum up moment about D or about E, or you just sum up forces vertical to show that it is 23.125 kilonewtons. Then check whole system if it is in equilibrium. So we now establish the differential equation of the elastic curve for portion AB. That's the sectioning call that x so therefore ei y double prime ab is equal to 15 times x minus 30 times quantity x minus 2 so integrating ei y prime ab is equal to 7.5 x square minus 15 x quantity x minus 2 quantity square plus constant of integration c sub 1 take note that there is no C sub 2 because when x is 0, 
YA or delta A is 0. Integrating, AIY AB equals 2.5 x cubed, 7.5 over 3, minus 5 x minus 2 quantity cubed plus C sub 1 x. There's no C sub 2. So 15 over 3 is 5. That's why it is minus 5 quantity x minus 2 quantity cubed. Then we can have established boundary equation for AB because uh, there's no more support where the deflection is zero. So we proceed to BCD. Then we have our reference at B. So since B is the origin, we have constant C sub 3 and C sub 4. C sub 3 is the slope just to the right of B, while C sub 4 would be the deflection at B. So we extend the loading so that it is applicable up to this section here. And we counter it by an upward loading of 20 kN per meter. So EI, Y double prime VD is equal to 86.25 times quantity x minus 3. This one, moment about this section here. Takwa is positive plus 90 times uh, plus this loading, moment of this loading, which is 20 times quantity x minus 3 times x minus 3 over 2. So it is plus 10 x minus 3 square. Again, 20 times x minus 3, the length, x minus 3, then moment arm x minus 3 over 2, so plus 10 quantity x minus 3 square, then plus 90 times quantity x minus 5 to the 0, because it is not acting at the origin, so we have this moment arm, so that when we have the boundary conditions or the application, if the quantity inside is negative, so it is not included in the calculations. Then minus 15 times x, minus 20 times x times x over 2, or minus 10 x squared. So that's the differential equation for portion BCD. Integrating EIY prime BD, 43.125 quantity x minus 3 squared plus 10 over 3. Quantity x minus 3 cubed plus 90 quantity x minus 5 raised to 1 or x 90 times x minus 5 minus 7.5 x squared minus 10 thirds x cubed plus c sub 3. Integrating further, 43.125 over 3 is 14.375 x minus 3 cubed plus 10 over 3 times 4, so 10 over 12 or 5 over 6 x minus 3 to the fourth plus 90 over 2, so 45 quantity x minus 5 square, 7.5 over 3, so minus 2.5 x cubed, 10 over 3 times or 10 over 12, so minus 5, 6 x to the fourth, plus c sub 3 x plus c sub 4. Remember, c sub 3 is the slope just to the right of b, and c sub 4 is the deflection at b. Although slope at b is not required, but just anticipate the interpretation of these constants. Then boundary condition when x is 3, yc is 0. So into this equation here. So this first term is 0, the second term 0. Third term is ignored, negative. So let's begin with negative 2.5 x cubed. So negative 2.53 cubed minus 5, 6 of 3 to the 4th, plus c sub 3 times 3, plus c sub 4. So the first equation is 3 c sub 3 plus c sub 4 equals 2.5 times c cubed plus 5, 6, 3 to the 4th. That's 135. Call that equation 1. Then we establish differential equation for the remaining segment of the beam DEF. So let's have this sectioning applicable to all sections of DEF. Take note, moment of inertia is 2i. 
So that's x. So we have e times 2i by double prime de df is equal to 11.25 times x plus 130.625 times quantity x minus 5 then minus 15 times x times x over 2 so minus 7.5 x squared so we divide everything by 2 to simplify so ei y double prime df is equal to 5.625 x plus 1 plus 10 1045 over 16 x minus 5 minus 3.75 x square integrating once so e i y d f is y prime d f is equal to 45 over 16 x square plus 1045 over 32 quantity x minus 5 square minus 1.25 x cube plus c sub 5 c sub 5 is interpreted geometrically interpreted as the slope just to the right of d this one while c sub 6 would be the deflection at d that one so e i y d f is equal to 15 over 16 x cube plus 1045 over 96 quantity x minus 5 cube minus 5 over 16 x to the fourth plus c sub 5 x plus c sub 6 now because there are two boundary conditions for portion def we can solve c sub 5 and c sub 6 by two simultaneous equations first we set x is 5 for portion def y is 0 into this equation so 0 equals 15 over 16 5 cube so this is 0 minus 5 over 16 5 to the fourth plus c sub 5 times 5 plus c sub 6 so the second equation is 5 c sub 5 plus c sub 6 is equal to 5 over 16 5 to the fourth minus 15 over 16 5 cube and that is 6 to 5 over 8 so call that equation 2 then when x is 11 in d in df y is 0 so 0 equals 15 over 16 11 cube plus 1045 over 96 6 cube 11 minus 5 is 6 then minus 5 over 16 times 11 to the fourth plus c sub 5 times 11 plus c sub 6 so simplifying this equation 11 c sub 5 plus c sub 6 equals 5 over 16, 11 to the fourth, minus 15 over 16, 11 cube, minus 1045 over 96, 6 cube. And that is 11 C sub 5 plus C sub 6 is equal to 976.25. Call that equation 3. So solving equations 2 and 3 simultaneously by eliminating C sub 6, you may subtract equation 2 from equation 3 and vice versa. So we can now compute C sub 5 and C sub 6. So C sub 5, which is the slope just to the right of B, is 2395 over 16, while C sub 6 is negative 10,725 over 16, which is the deflection at D. Divided by EI, C sub 5 divided by EI would be the slope just to the right of D. So theta d just to the right is 149.688 over ei again you c sub 5 is theta just theta of d just to the right you just express this in decimal form that's the decimal equivalent while c sub 6 in decimal is negative 10725 over 16 in decimal so delta d is equal to negative 670.312 over EA. Having found the deflection at D when X is 0, for BCD when X is 7, then the deflection at D can be found, which is equal to negative 10725 over 16. So we substitute it into EIYBD. 
because we need one more equation here and set x is 7 for bd here and ybd is equal to negative 10, 7, 2, 5, or 16 over ei. So ei times negative 10, 7, 2, 5, or 16 ei is equal to 14.375 times 4 cube plus 5 over 6 times 4 to the 4th plus 45 times 7 square sorry it's 2 square 7 minus 5 is 2 minus 2.57 cube minus 5 over 6 7 to the 4th plus c sub 3 times 7 plus c sub 4 so that's the equation so simplifying and establishing the fourth equation 7 c sub 3 plus c sub 4 is equal to so manipulating this constant simplifying using your calculator and that is 3995 over 16. We then solve equations 1 and 4 simultaneously by eliminating c sub 4 for convenience. So we get these three constants. Again, c sub 3 is the slope just to the right of b when x is 0 for pd. While c sub 4 is the deflection at b. So solving equations 1 and 4 simultaneously, c sub 3 is 11.85 over 64, while c sub, 6, uh, c sub 4 is negative 26.865 over 64. So therefore, delta b express this c sub 4 in decimal, that's the deflection at b. So negative 26.865 over 64 in decimal is negative 419. 0.766 over EI. Having found delta B, we can now set, we can now solve theta D that's to the left into this equation here because we already have C sub 3 and we set X is 7 for B, BD. So in this, into this equation, X is 7. So EI Theta D just to the left is 43.125 uh, 4 square plus 10 thirds 4 cube plus 90 times 2 minus 7.57 square minus 10 thirds 7 cube plus C sub 3 which is 11.85 over 64. So computing this value using your calculator then express in decimal form we now have theta d just to the left and it is equal to negative 242.578 over ei so that's it for this problem and remember this is the last example on beam deflection by double integration method